ding, 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 class is in session. Now, when you're going to play with crypto, you got to get your wagasm going, your wagasm. You got to give the ladies a wagasm. What's a wagasm? Who gives a shit money? Okay? Wagasm. Remember it. Live it. Learn it. Because I am not a financial advisor, what I do with my money is crazy, but I'll tell you, a lot of you guys want to make fast money, you want to get rich, you want all the pizzazz, you want it all, you've tried everything. You fucking mailed away for stuff, you watch YouTube, you read courses, you did watching ads on YouTube, you tried that, you did clickbait crap, network marketing, new skin, Amway, fuck a life, I mean Herbalife, all of it, none of it worked. So... Crypto is your answer. You know, I'm going off on a tangent I didn't want to go on. Let's just talk about ETH. Let's talk about ETH. I'm going to tell you, there are two opportunities, two times that I have set as the oracle when I will buy ETH and go long. First of all, this this is unbelievable. So many of you never learned core number trading. And it's a shame, and I'm going to feature it on my channels, core number trading. Core number trading could have really saved a lot of you. We go to one year. Wow, look at this. Imagine if you had five thousand dollars worth of Ethereum, okay, last year, and every time Ethereum went up, let's say five thousand dollars, let's say it was I don't know, ten Ethereum's at five hundred dollars each. So every time it went over five thousand dollars, like here, your ten Ethereum's would have gone up by um, three thousand dollars roughly. What if you took that $3,000 off the top and set it aside, sold enough Ethereum to bring yourself back down to 5000 The 10 Ethereum don't matter anymore. The 5000 is what matters. So now, ETH goes up to, to 1300 You took everything off the top above your 5000 You put it aside. Mm. ETH drops to 1000 Maybe you take some of that money and you buy some more ETH. Oh, you're over your 5000 again. Take some money off the top. Put it aside. Oh, shit. What happened? Well, take some of that money you put aside and buy a hell of a lot more ETH. You still got your 5000 plus you're getting more for free now. Goes up over your 5000 Oops. And it's going to go up faster because you have more tokens now. You've been compounding. Mm -hmm. Nobody ever taught you this, huh? Nobody ever fucking taught you this. It's unbelievable. Anyway, so it goes down. You take some of your side money, buy a little more. Now you got a fuck ton to eat. And you got money on the side. And you keep doing this over and over again. Wash, rinse, repeat. By the time you got here, maybe you would have had, I don't know, 500 ETH. 500 ETH. But take the guy who had $5,000 in ETH. He had 10 ETH at $500. And he hodled them. Hodled them. Hoddled him, hoddled him. A year later, well, he lost most of his money. Those 10 ETH, okay, would now be worth $1,100. Bad, bad, bad strategy. Nobody's taught you core number trading? I will. Subscribe to my channel. I'm going to hook you up. So, when am I going to buy into ETH? There are only two conditions. Now, I, I jump trends, okay? The trend is your soulmate. $97 and $180. Those are the only two times I will ever go long on ETH. Why? $97 tickles me. Feels like it's a good price. It's a better chance of going up than going down. Makes me feel nice. Why would I not go long until $180 if I couldn't get $97? Like if we stay in this shit range, why would I wait to $180? A clear uptrend. What does the Oracle teach you? He teaches you to swim with the tide of the day, never against it. For this day, you want to know what the tide was? You look at the six hour. Looks like it was a really rough tide. It was a rip tide. It ripped everyone's eyes out. People got liquidated. I told you, you don't jump into a down day and think you're going to go long and catch the bottom because the bottom will catch you. Okay? And you keep doing that enough times, you will hit bottom. 
Now, we are about to break 116. Okay, we're going to go to 115. How do I know that? The German pinpricks are lining up. And this even number right here, we always, it's, it doesn't matter if it's even or odd, but the next full number. Once you break that, there you go. The Oracle called it. Now, what's going to happen is we're going to go a little bit below it because we're going to get another German pinprick. So, we're going to pull this down here. But then, we're going to pop back over 116. We're going to see 116.2, 116.3. You know what that is? That's people I just told you about trying to jump the shark, trying to go against the trend, okay? You don't do that. The trend is your soulmate. The trend right now is down. Let's go to the one-minute chart. Oh, oh, it's epic. It's epic. My students will see this. We had here, oh, look at that. It actually almost penetrated an ovary right there. When this meets that, that's just downward momentum so i told you we we're going to bounce up to around the 116.30 now we're looking at this candle you know i only work on the last three candles my students i don't want to call them students my peeps my boys my wolves okay they know the people who've done consultations with me know one of my guys made a chart who gas them okay cover your left eye and read the chart to me no not that chart relax chill i'm not going to go into all the details but right here is when my boy shorted. Perfect downward pinprick formation. Look at this. And he held that shit. And he watched the candles. And he held it. And he took profit way down here. And then he did exactly what I told him. Waited, waited, waited. Boom. Slap that short down again. You do this all on a three candle approach. It's called the German pinprick. It's what it is. Now, this will go below. That Look, this is Dickless Soldier. Soldiers. No wick on it. Oh, look, there's a little bit of pennies in this account. Let's have some fun. Let's wait to the right moment. I want a little green here, and then I'm going to short this bitch. Watch. This is the werewolf turn right here. It's a werewolf turn. You don't know if it's going to go up or down. It's kind of like a YouTuber. It's a technical analysis YouTuber. It's like, well, we had a couple of green and red bars before, and I don't really know what's going to happen. Tomorrow could go up, could go down. <laughs> Kirby. All right, so short dick man the wrong direction. That's not good for a red bar. I'm going to go ahead and short with these little pennies here. Oh, I work at market. Why? I'll tell you why. I'm a goddamn high-frequency human being. It's like high-frequency trading. You know why? I'll tell you. You're going to sit here. Look, not in this instance. It's not a good example. But I will tell you, my friends, that you can go ahead and be up 90%. And just come over here and play Tommy Diddly Dick with the post only and trying to get your order bought and over here and over there. And all of a sudden, your 90% gain is now a 7% gain. Fuck that. Ejaculate. I mean, uh, evacuate at market. Just hit the button, man. Now, most noobs never learn this little lesson. This, look, see my mouse moves? You see the numbers change? It's not. I'm not Houdini. I'm not... What's his name? Chris, uh, I don't know, the other fake magician. Look, I'm not really down 12%. I'm down 6.89%. 6 now, read the black box. This is your indicative P&L. If this position was exited at market right now, well, what are we talking about? Hitting the emergency ejaculate button to get out of a trade in high profit. So that's the price you really would get. That's the profit you really would get, okay? Now, I'm going to teach you another thing. Can you please, 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 play with money you don't care i'll not tell you I'll just be straight with you this is gambling this is straight up gambling it's what it is you're a gambler okay slap yourself skippy slap out of it you're gambling all right now i'm going to tell you something it's educated gambling yes i have a system my people are massively successful anyone can do it my consultation information is down below if you can't spend 300 bucks for a consultation where I'm going to set you straight and teach you how to trade exactly like I do in one session. You'll never lose money again unless you fuck up. Okay? If you can't afford that, well, then you should not be trading BitMEX, my friends. This, look, I know you all want to get rich. I want to be fucking crazy rich. Okay? I live up in a glass box right now looking at a city that's beautiful here in Toronto. Anyway, so... The whole point of this is I'm not getting into ETH until it either hits $96 or 180 Clear trends. I swim with the tide. I don't swim against it. You're going to goddamn drown. Okay? And right now, you have a perfect storm of events here. 
Wall Street is knocking this down. And when you least expect it, and no technical analysis person will know, and no YouTuber will tell you other than maybe the Oracle, all of a sudden there's going to be news that's going to hit. And it's going to explode upwards. Wall Street's setting you up. They're playing you the fool. They're playing you the fool. You want to see you being played the fool? Now, you know what? I'm going to save this for another video. I'll wrap this up here, Steve Frost.